You may not know this about me, but I've been on television quite a few times making cakes. Some experiences were fantastic, and some were embarrassing. So while you watch me make today's hyper-realistic cake, I'm gonna talk about a few of my favorite cakes that I've made on TV. My name is Natalie Side Surf, and I make cakes that don't look like cakes. And today I'm gonna show you how I made a curly fries cake. There's a show on Food Network called Buddy vs. Dough. It's a cake show where two teams compete to make the most insane, creative cakes that you've ever seen. Team Buddy is led by Buddy Velastro, who you may know as Cake Boss. And Team Duff is led by Duff Goldman, who you may know as the Ace of Cakes. Back in 2020, Duff asked me to join his team to compete on the show. And of course, I was down. It's not every day you get to make massive cakes alongside a ridiculously talented group of cake decorators. So you can watch me compete on seasons one and two of Buddy vs. Duff, and there is a bonus holiday season. And all three of these seasons are streaming on Discovery Plus if you want to check it out. Buddy vs. Duff is absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. The cakes that came out of both teams are phenomenal. My favorite season of the show is season two, which brings me to my first favorite cake that I've ever made on TV, the battle corn. On season two, episode three, both teams were asked to make a medieval times cake. And Duff came up with this idea for a cake that ended up being one of my favorite cakes that I've ever helped make. It was a bucking, fire-breathing unicorn with laser eyes that did something that you're not gonna believe. That is edible glitter. It farted edible glitter. <laughs> I love it so much. I mean, come on, it's so good. My contribution to this cake was the unicorn, excuse me, battle corn's face. I went for an animated expression, one that really emphasized the moment of flatulence. The rest of the team did an amazing job on the body and the super detailed decorations. And of course, making sure that all the moving elements worked. I mean, the cake was fire breathing. Fire breathing it was insane. I don't even know what to say. It was just crazy. It was just one of the craziest cakes I've ever made. The battle corn cake was 10 feet tall and it almost didn't make its way out of the bakery doors. So we had to cut its ears off to make it fit. But I was able to add those ears back on once it was at its final location. So no problem. That battle corn cake is the best. I'm so happy that I was part of that creation. Nailed It is a show on Netflix where three contestants who have zero experience making cakes are asked to make cakes. Ooh. And then hilarity ensues because making cakes, honestly, is not really that easy. So I was asked to judge on season three, episode two called Cacophobia. The theme was phobias. And the contestants were asked to replicate a phobia themed cake that I made of a super creepy clown. Spooky, creepy cakes are a blast to make. I used powdered sugar to create that caked on white makeup effect. I love the way it looks. That clown cake was difficult for me to make, let alone newbies. But that's the idea of the show. It's called Nailed It, but the contestants usually don't actually nail the cake design. I mean, they have zero experience. That's like asking me to compete against two people to build a simple website in a few hours. I would definitely not nail it. Being a judge on the show was really fun and the contestants were great and my fellow judges were fun. It was great fun. <laughs> Except for that one thing that happened. This is so embarrassing. I can't believe I am going to tell you this. <sighs> Okay, so we're on set and the host is about to present the clown cake challenge. The three contestants are standing right in front of us, the three judges. The production crew is walking around, setting everything up for the scene and the cameras are moving and the lights are moving. And at that very moment, I asked a producer, are we about to show them the clown cake? And then all of a sudden, all the people around me slightly panic and I'm hearing a hum of voices all around me saying, let's go, let's go, let's go. We gotta film it, let's go, go, go. And then we immediately start filming. Well, that's when I realized why. It's because I had said, are we going to show them the clown cake and not just cake? I included the word clown. And the theme of the cake is supposed to be a surprise for the contestants. They didn't know that it was a clown yet. And they were standing right in front of me in earshot. I was bright red. I was mortified. Thank goodness that the three contestants weren't paying any attention, to me at least. They were busy doing their own thing and they actually didn't hear me. So yeah, I almost ruined the surprise clown reveal. <laughs> You had one job, Natalie. I can tell you what, I will never make that mistake again, that's for sure. You ever 
hear the show Better Call Saul? How about Breaking Bad? The Walking Dead? I wasn't in any of these. But a few years back, AMC asked me to make a bust cake of one of the characters from the show Better Call Saul, which is a spin-off of the show Breaking Bad. And they wanted my cake and myself to be featured in an AMC commercial that would air during the season premiere of The Walking Dead. So who did I choose to make in cake? None other than the baddest, toughest character in the entire series, Mike Ehrmantraut. I love the character Mike. I'm a big fan. So are you ready to see this commercial spot? Ready? All right, here we go. Yep, my segment in that commercial was about 1.5 seconds. <laughs> You'd be surprised how many friends and family reached out saying they saw me, though. It's pretty neat. It's short, short and sweet. <laughs> but that's not the end of this story, you guys. Because shortly after the commercial aired, the actor who plays Mike, his name is Jonathan Banks, he was on Conan promoting Better Call Saul. And guess what they talked about during his appearance? Isn't that amazing? That's a cake. Natalie and I'll eat this, sir. Side surf, Natalie side surf, and I, did I ever taste it? No. And I also never said thank you to her, so Natalie, thank you very much for making a cake. Did you see that? How sweet of Jonathan Banks to thank me. He said my name and everything. He absolutely didn't have to do that. That means that character Mike Ehrmantraut personally thanked me on Conan. <laughs> it's pretty darn cool. For my final favorite cake that I've made on TV, but everything about this one was just really, really cool and unique. We're going to go back to the show that I talked about earlier, Buddy vs. Stuff, and this time I made a life-size cake of Yoda. This was for the season finale of season two. Team Duff and Team Buddy were asked to make Star Wars themed cakes. And we filmed this episode at Disney's Galaxy's Edge after hours. Did you know that they keep the speakers on overnight? I'd walk to the restroom feeling like I was abandoned in a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> the bathroom was kind of far away. After hours. This Star Wars cake was for the finale. It was the most important cake of the entire show. So we really went for it. Duff decided that it would be really neat to capture a specific scene from The Empire Strikes Back. So we recreated the Dagobah swamp scene where Yoda uses the force to raise Luke's X-Wing out of the swamp. When I heard that, I immediately offered to make the life-size cake replica of Yoda. I was so excited. Recreating characters in cake is one of my favorite things to do. And here it is, life-size Yoda. It was so so fun to sculpt. He's got those big eyes and all those wrinkles. And he's green. Such an iconic character. And I got to make it in cake. And guess what? You're never gonna believe this. George Lucas saw our cake. My boy watches Buddy vs. Duff. He called Duff and thanked us for making it. George Lucas even sent Duff a bottle of Star Wars wine. And then all of us on Team Duff had a glass together. It was a celebration. I will tell you what, when I first started, I had no idea that making cool cakes was gonna result in such a amazing experiences. I am incredibly grateful. And there you have it, a cake of curly fries from Jack in the Box. I went into this cake a little worried about how the actual fries would turn out, but I love it. And I think that I got them as realistic as I possibly could. If you had to pick which one of these menu items is a cake, which one would you choose? Pretend that you don't know it's the fries. <laughs> All right, let's cut the cake. If you like this video, give this video a like and subscribe to this channel for a new strange cake every week. I'll see you next week for another cake.